on a day-to-day, minute-to-minute uh, basis, and that is how the whole whole operation was actually conducted, involving from the junior most person of uh, the embassy to, let us say, uh, well, what the, one, the highest person of the government of India. Let's put it like that. Um, um, you know, it's not that we have abandoned the people of Afghanistan, that their welfare and our old relationship with them is very much in our mind. Uh, we will, going forward, try and continue our interaction with them. Of course, I cannot say in exactly what form and manner because the situation there is changing so much. We are also continually monitoring the situation there because there are still some Indian citizens who are there. That is why Air India will continue to run its commercial services to Kabul. That is, as long as the airport in Kabul yeah. functions, you would have heard that temporarily Air India had to suspend its commercial services. That was because of the conditions that were there in the airport, which did not allow for civilian aircrafts to come uh, the coverage of the situation in the airport itself is well known to everyone. It was reported internationally. There are many others who continue to work in Kabul city despite the changing situation and then have changed their minds subsequently uh, and will be brought back when the commercial services... ABP Sonja, Josh Jasbah, Junoo.